I am not playing this game right now. We're playing COD. I can't tell which holiday sweater is more nerdy, my Intel one or my Beat Saber one. <laughs> I love them both. I already had this one on. I thought I'd only have one holiday sweater that I'd wear to those cheesy holiday party things where you have the sweater. Wow, Hannah, <laughs> drink some water immediately. I don't even know what point I was trying to make. I thought I would have one of these cheesy sweaters. I now have two and now I want them all. Is this what it's like to get older? <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, happy holidays to you all. I hope that you are enjoying the holidays the way that you like with friends, family, or even by yourself. Be sure to show a little extra love to yourself and those around you and take good care of yourself. Of course, take good care of yourself throughout the entire year, but at the end of this year, it's the end of 2023. Breathe. Enjoy to the best of your ability, of course. I have something really big coming out this week. Um, so that's been something I've been working on for a hot minute. And finally, I think I'm ready to tell you guys what it is. Well, not in this video and probably my next video or the video after, I'm not sure. So be on the lookout for that. Also, I do want to give a huge shout out to Intel. I was at DreamHack Atlanta, I think two weekends ago and I went with Intel and I got to build a couple of PCs there for some people that we gave away. If I find any documentation, I'll be sure to leave it here on the screen, but I built three PCs. One was a build battle with Robitech and then I built another PC with a Sparkle GPU. That was really fun. And then there was a section in the convention hall called the bring your own computer section. And basically you bring your own computer and you play games. Intel went through and handpicked a couple people and said, hey, we'll upgrade your system. So I got to build this dude's entire new system. I didn't get a lot of uh, footage of it. I think I have like one picture, but that was such a magical experience for me. And why am I tearing up a little bit right now? It was so much fun. The dad and the son were sitting in front of me as I was building this PC. It reminded me of my technician days where I used to, you know, work at Fry's Electronics and for my college building PCs. Their faces lit up when the PC build was finally done. So I just want to say thank you so much Intel for bringing me out and really helping me brush up on my PC building skills and also just to be able to provide that for people. That really makes me happy. I'm all about giving. And I've got a couple PC builds coming up here soon. So stay tuned for that. But first big announcement and then PC. Let's play some COD. I didn't even mention we're playing COD in this video. We're playing COD. I'll edit that little bit into the video earlier so that people know in the beginning we're playing COD, okay? Here we are back with some COD. I have no idea what's going on. I haven't played in probably a week since I last played zombies. It even says last played zombies. How about that? Infectious holiday snow fight. You can throw snowballs. Santa took over the train. Why? Was a sleigh not good enough? I guess not. To be fair, a train you could put in reverse in this war zone. So I don't think you can do that with a sleigh. Hangover 24-7. We're definitely playing this. Absolutely. Wow. Before we jump in, I do want to go ahead and say that Sledgehammer fixed something that I am so excited about. And I kind of, not that I wasn't expecting them to, but I'm really happy that they did. <laughs> I thought it would come in a later update, but it came like immediately. So big props to sledgehammer thank you you already know where i'm going with this and if you don't you're gonna be so excited if you're a camo grinder look at the challenge here it says destroy 25 enemy lethal equipment with the launcher they updated this challenge so it's no longer just claymores and c4s i think that count it's also tacticals it's also i'm gonna look it up you you okay <laughs> my cat just yelled it right in here are you okay okay i can't find the actual call of duty blog i've been searching for 10 minutes to find it but i will go ahead and put in a screen grab of what somebody had tweeted me because I went to go play test season one content over in California with Sledgehammer and I brought up in person that this camo challenge definitely needs to be reworked. So it looks like things have happened. If you haven't heard the story, I'll retell it, but let's play some COD. Yeah, the equipment includes ACS, comm scrambler, deployable cover, med box, munitions box, portable radar, suppression mine, tactical camera, tactical insertion, trophy system. Basically a lot of equipment. Do I have a holiday-esque camo? This one does it. It's green and blue. We'll take it. I don't know. It's, it'll work. Oh, it's also double XP right now. That's nice. Oh, I haven't played this in a while. I never noticed all the balloons here. <laughs> when I went to play test at Sledgehammer, I uh, ended up just popping the balloons the entire time for the most part. Target down. Snow. Man, Georgia hasn't seen snow in a hot minute. I used to hate the snow. And then, I don't know, I grew up and learned how to dress for the snow, and now I like it. I don't know. That goes for the cold as well. I just want to hang out by the dance party. Apparently, you can shoot the little disco ball light on the other side of the map, and it'll break, which is sad. I won't be doing that. Of course not. I like the music here. This is fun. I'm in the enemy spot. I don't care. <laughs>
I guarantee you this Claymore would dance with the music if he knew how. He's got the legs for it. Well, do you guys plan on doing anything special for the holidays? Comment down below and let me know. I, for one, so do you guys know I have a golf cart? It's been a couple of years since I told you guys about my golf cart or since I got it. And uh, just, just a reminder, I, I do have a golf cart. His name is Wilson. Wilson was sitting around for a little bit. He didn't get a lot of use, but I finally dragged him out and we got his batteries changed out. And I plan on taking Wilson around the neighborhood to go look at some Christmas lights. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm gonna wear my Intel sweater. It's party now. I got stuck on that barrel. Did you see that? Am I the final kill? I guarantee you I am. Let's see. Oh, it's me. Look at this. Look at me run and get stuck on that freaking barrel. Look at me. Oh, he could have gotten a collab. That could be really bad. I don't know if this is an uncommon opinion or not, but honestly, high rise is not that. Okay. High rise is not as great as I remember it being, but I think it's because we're able to mantle over a lot of things now. So it completely changes the way that high rise plays because before it was kind of the three lane thing, but you couldn't hop over all the walls. Now you can, it completely plays differently. And I don't know. I'm not quite vibing with high rise as much in this game, but I am vibing with hangover because it's a party. But anyways, quick story about the whole thing, going to Sledgehammer and playtesting things. They had a presentation about season one content that was coming out. At the very end of the presentation, they said, we'll open the floor for questions. By the way, I told the story in my last Camel Grind video. So I raised my hand and I said, hey, I think the launcher challenges just aren't very compatible with a lot of players. <laughs> Is that the wording I used? I can't remember the exact wording that I used, but I basically said, hey, I'd love to see a rework done. And they said, hey, we're pretty happy with it, but let us know what you think. We're open to some feedback. I got a collateral on those balloons. Quad. I am not playing this game right now. I will not rage quit, but are you serious? <laughs> Why did his name not pop up? What? Is that a known bug? Please let me know. But Sledgehammer said, yeah, we're open to some feedback, so let us know what you think. And I said, well, I think it's a little unfair that the only equipment that counts for the launchers is claymores and C4s. Nothing else counts, like tacticals, not even the ammo box. Why can't I break the window? Are you serious? I am bumping into the window like it's a ping pong. No, um, what's the pinball? Pinball machine. <laughs> it's a party now. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> Who spilled the wine on the dance floor? That is so rude. At least clean that up before someone slips. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It stops the music? I didn't know it stops the music. That's so sad. I'm more of a party pooper than the wine is. But yeah, surprisingly, not even the ammo box counted for launcher challenges. And I told them that. They said, wait, really? I said, yeah, it'd be nice to see kind of a rework on that. Not a big deal, but like, I think it'd be, you know, a little bit more enticing for players to go for the camo challenge. Is that a sentry gun? They said, we'll take a look at it. Of course, that was a couple weeks ago. I wasn't expecting there to be any changes. Okay, this class is kind of feeling like the FAMAS from back in the day. Yeah. Oh, can I help you? Whoa, I threw the roof. I understand now. Is it because I destroyed the light? I ruined the music. But yeah, long story short, went out to the sledgehammer, told them, hey, this is like, okay, but like it could be better. They're like, cool, heard, understood. I wasn't expecting any changes to be made, obviously. And then all of a sudden, when the season update came out, I got so many tweets and so many tags saying, Butters, you did it. I don't know what they were talking about. I'm like, did what? And it showed that the launcher challenges have been updated. In full transparency, I'm not taking credit for the launcher challenges being changed. I'm not gonna go, oh, thank you so much. I'd like to thank my mother and my father for giving me the ability to give feedback. <laughs> it was definitely a necessary change. I'm glad it was brought up to the developer's um, attention. And I'm glad a positive change was made. Get the barrel. Dude, I gotta play COD more. It's been a little bit. I've been working on this project and I can't wait to tell you guys what it is. I am sweating in this sweater. Is that why they call it a sweater? Because you sweat in it? No, probably not. Can I help? Wait, you're in our spawn for what? We are playing hard point. Maybe I should actually play the objective. The objective moved right when I said that. <laughs> I got distracted by the camo on the gun. Dang it. Look at this camo too. My goodness. So many nice camos in this game. Who popped a balloon? I heard that. <laughs> Instead of sniping, I should probably go for the launcher challenges. I kind of want to snipe too. See, to get up into this hard point, I can do this and I can jump up here and the hard point moved immediately. Are you kidding me? It's like it knows. Do I smell or something? I'm just trying to be an objective player. Why does the objective keep moving away from me? Oh, wait a minute. This is a sentry gun. Oh, this is a trophy. What if I melee it with the launcher? Boom. Does that count? <laughs> oh. Sorry, I have to do this. Did I kill it? I don't know if I killed it. I, it's dead. 
It's so quiet now. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> okay, there is a bottle here. I have questions and I'm not going to ask them. I was checking out the bottle. I'm trying to make sure everybody's partying safely. Look at the bottle. For what? Oh, the holidays got people feeling aggressive. Happy freaking holidays. <laughs> You gotta win that. I'm not even on my A game right now. <laughs> and we lose. Awesome. <laughs> it's fun. 24 to 2, baby. <laughs> I forgot we were playing hard play. <laughs> yeah, zero time on the objective. <laughs> objective player, not so much. I love the guitar riffs when you get stuff done in this game. It reminds me of one of our team. Ah, guitar. I am sick of hangover 24 7 at the moment. What else can we play? <laughs> Shipment, I just want to see. Wow. Fun fact, did you guys know that Shipment was never supposed to be an actual map in the Call of Duty franchise, originally in COD 4? It was added into COD 4 as just a playtest map. It was supposed to be removed before the actual release of the game, but they kept it in. Could you even fathom Call of Duty without Shipment? Especially now that we have the camo grind. That's what everybody does for camo grind, which is totally understandable. It's super convenient. But I do have a question for you. Are you having fun playing Shipment 24-7 constantly? Is it fun to go on Shipment and run around in circles and... Do all that while having your Spotify cranked? I won't lie to you, about 75% of the time, quite therapeutic. The other 25%? <laughs> well, there's a satellite. Buy satellite. Snow. Oh, where's the satellite? Where is it? What the heck is that in the distance? Why is there a floating face? Hold on. I have to investigate. Domination. Where'd it go? Capture Was that an operator? Am I missing something? Oh, there he is. What's he doing here? What does he want? Huh, interesting. Ah, good old shipment. It's like I never missed it. <laughs> Need recon overhead. Oh, did you hear the sorry, 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 sorry. Did you hear the audio when you called a UAV in here? Why does this right here remind me of the thing? The 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 body's frozen in the in the ice? Have I been watching too many horror movies? Probably. Dude, one of these days I want to do a video where I talk about my favorite horror movies because that is something that I'm extremely passionate about. I don't know if that'd be a main channel video or like a second channel video. By the way, I have a second channel. I'll link it uh, in the corner if you want to watch it. It just consists of a bunch of uploads that I'm like, yeah, that won't do very well on the main channel, but I still want to do it. I'm literally sitting in the whatever. Don't <laughs> celebration holidays. <laughs> they got the spirit for sure. <laughs> Oh, what was I saying? I have a second channel and I upload stuff that makes me happy on there. Uh, I don't know if people will watch it, but it's stuff that I want to record. So there you have it. It's also extensions of videos that I've already done, like my uh, office cleaning video. I Did you see you with the joy? Oh my gosh, so much holiday cheer on this map. I did an office cleaning video. Good night, Poe. What am I trying to say? I did an office cleaning video and the closet part took like 25 minutes by itself. So I made it its own video. Thank you, teammate, for protecting me. And I put it on my second channel. There we go. I'm there. Give me the shotgun. It, it works great. Is anybody putting any equipment out? Like, I'd love to level my launcher. Oh, I should check to see if that trophy cannon. What the heck am I? Oh, it's a claymore. For some reason, I didn't recognize what I was holding. <laughs> I don't know why. This might be my favorite shipment we've had in a hot minute. Something about the Aurora Borealis and the little skull that's floating is so cool. I need to play more Call of Duty and get my hands warmed up. Objective player. Someone's got to do it. I completely lost my train of thought. I'm so excited to go see some holiday lights here in a bit, though. You know what I'm going to do after looking at some holiday lights today? I'm going to watch The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing. That movie has some of the best practical effects I've ever seen. What year even was that movie? Wait, The Thing. I'm going to watch it because it has snow. 1982! I don't know why I thought it was the 70s. Or maybe I should actually watch Krampus because the only time I've ever heard about Krampus was when I played Call of Duty and he was an absolute menace on Calterra. <laughs> Does that count as destroying it with a launcher? There's people frozen in the ice. It's so cool. I love that. I 360 for no reason. Sometimes you just gotta do it to them. For some reason, I never 360 in this direction, though. It's always the other way around. This way feels unnatural. This way feels very natural. Hmm. Defeat. Man, for not playing this game for a hot minute, this game is so good at making me feel so crappy when jumping back in. <laughs> I don't think I've lost more games in a Call of Duty than Modern Warfare 3. I don't know what I did to piss off this game, but like, it's okay. We'll get along somehow eventually. Let's see if the camo challenges are tracking nine. Yes, so if you melee trophies, it counts now. Yes, I love that. Good, yes, great, yay, yay. I think that's all I want to go ahead and talk about for today's video. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I really rambled this video, so I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> 
It's been a little bit since I sat back, relaxed, and rambled. But Sledgehammer did fix the launcher challenges, so love that. Thank you, Sledgehammer. And the holiday season is upon us. And keep on the lookout on my social media in the next couple of days. Uh, I have a really big announcement that I'm so excited about. It's been in the works for a hot minute. And by the way, I am getting a rebranding done for my channel, and I'm actually getting a logo now. So that's super exciting, but that's not what the announcement is. I just want to clarify that because I know some people might be like, oh, it's the rebrand. Uh, no, it is not. But that's all I've got. Like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, whatever I make. Bye bye. Bye bye. Remember to take good care of yourselves this holiday season, y'all. Going into 2024, be kind to yourself. Uh, if this year has been rough, I I believe in you. You will have the strength to bounce back in 2024. And um, yeah, because 2023 has been an interesting year for me. And um, I'm right there with you in regards to like, whoo, it's been a ride. Uh, so 2024, y'all. It's going to be great. And I have I have really big, really big plans. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, bye. <laughs>